last flight of the year and uh, we're pretty well fogged in. I just got Jackson out playing for a little bit using up some of that Jack Russell energy. So on the roster for today we have Ted and Partha. This is Mark Newvine. He's vacationing from Detroit. He had no idea we'd even be out there when he showed up. So Ted gave us the thumbs up, so we sent it. This is my home airport. I've flown here dozens of times. It's not unusual to have some fog early in the morning when the humidity is high. When we can see the trees at the far north end of the field, we know we have a mile of visibility, and we did. We had blue sky above us. Shortly after launching, I realized I was flying through some fog. Quickly got on top of it, but it wasn't real pretty. Once I was above the fog, it was beautiful. The air was calm, but I was a little uneasy because it was thicker than usual. I was afraid that uh, it would close in on me and I wouldn't have a hold to get back down. So I hurried up and got back on the ground and Ted did the same thing. We realized the fog was rolling through in patches. It would clear up and then there'd be a hole. So we waited 30 or 45 minutes for it to finally lift off enough that we felt safe to fly. So we all got geared up and sent it again. Clear prop. Go. Arms are out, roll on throttle. We had a gyrocopter and a pattern going touch and goes today, so I departed the airspace pretty quickly and headed down to the south. I had recorded some live audio on this flight, but with three other pilots in the air and other aircraft, there was a lot of radio chatter going on. Gorilla Ground was uh, relaying information about the gyrocopter to us because he did not have a radio or wasn't listening to it. I was really happy to see I got my chase cam dialed in just perfectly with the uh, GoPro 7 white back there. It does a really nice job. I'm real happy with the footage now. I'll throw a link to the 3D printed chase cam down in the description. It's really awesome and it's 50 bucks or $57. So it's really affordable and well worth the money in my opinion. The air down low was really bumpy and trashy, so I climbed up above the fog, lifted off, and turned into this low layer of scattered clouds at about a thousand feet. And it was just smooth as can be up there. As I flew down to the south towards the Peace River, I started to notice there was another layer of clouds at about 2,500 feet. I was kind of flying the space in between them. 
I noticed that to the south there was more and more fog. I figured it would be a good time to uh, drop down through this hole while I still had a safe escape and didn't get trapped up here in the middle of all this mess. I went down and flew around with my friends for a little bit down below the clouds. We played around in the fields to the west of the airport for a while. It was just bumpy down there. It wasn't much fun. I decided it was probably time to head it on in. At this point the gyrocopter had packed it in and gone home so I entered a midfield uh, well below pattern altitude. Man it was bumpy down here. I'll be glad to get back on the ground. Well anyway, 2018 was a hell of a year. I went from a zero flight paramotor pilot to a 50 flight pilot and still consider myself very much a beginner, learning from every single flight and trying to stay safe. So thanks everybody for watching. Throw me a like and subscribe if you haven't. You know the drill. Everybody else decided that it was probably a good idea to bring it on in about this point. It was starting to get pretty nasty out there, but it was a good flight. We all got on the ground safely and my comment to the guys was, hey, that only sucked a little bit, because any day flying beats a day of work. All right, guys, happy new year. See you next time. Gorilla out.